My name is Veronica, and today I will be showing you how to cook a meatloaf. Okay, then the first thing we are going to do after putting our oven, turning on on our oven to 350 degrees is we, we are going to use a pan that is 10 centimeters wide and 20 long you see so i'm using half tablespoon olive oil to grease my pan, my pan okay so i will use a brush and just try to cover all around it Now, I put my 500 grams meat, like corned beef, in a bowl. Next, I will have, I will use um, half cup of oatmeal. These are rolled oats. So, I'm using the quick version of rolled oats, okay? Next, I will be, I will add half cup of normal sauce for like the sauce you use for spaghetti but I will use half a cup okay and my I'm using the one that is uh, basil okay I will be using one teaspoon of salt and we will use coarse salt okay this is one teaspoon salt, okay? Cold salt. I like to use garlic and it, it would be, we will use one teaspoon garlic. This is one teaspoon garlic. One teaspoon. Then again, I have one teaspoon oregano. This is dry oregano. If you have fresh oregano, that's better. Okay, we will be using some uh, ground pepper. And in this case, we will use only one fourth. One fourth teaspoon ground pepper. Okay. Next, then, um, and then we will add our large egg. Well, this is our large egg. The onion, I miss the onion, very small. You can see. Look, I try to do, do the smallest possible, okay? So, there we go. All the onion. Now, we want to mix all of this together. So, we will be using a wooden spoon. The one we do for savory dishes, okay? So it's marked for savory. I put salt when it's savory. So you just want to do this all together. You can use your hands to do this, okay? If you don't want your hands to smell. <laughs> On the internet, perhaps you can find something I bought. It's like a piece of... Um, stainless steel and you can wash your hands with that under the running water you know cold running water and then it will remove the smell from your hands i don't know how it works but it's like that okay so you see i already have all together now here uh, we are having our mold, our pan, okay? And I will put everything inside, okay? Like that. Now, oh, 
over this because we like want it to be nice. We will use a little bit more of tomato sauce, okay? Like one fourth cup tomato sauce. And we just put it on top. We can even put more. Like that. So now we will put this in our preheated oven. Let me clean this. Because if you leave it dirty, like this spills around it, when you put it in the oven, it will be like burnt. And that burnt pieces can give a bad taste to the rest. And we don't want that, okay? So we will put it in the middle of our oven for 40 minutes, okay? And we will be back, okay? See you soon. It's ready, so we can check if it's ready. For that, I use like a pin. This is a special pin, like just a pin. If you don't have one, and I put it in the middle. So if it comes like that, clean, it means it's ready. And you bring this here, it's ready, okay? So you might be thinking, what are you going to eat this with? You can eat this with um, mashed potatoes, or you wish, you can eat it with some salad. Which add your preference or rice, okay? Or you can cut a half and put it in a piece of bread. Okay, we will leave this for a few minutes, like five minutes or ten minutes, so we will be able to remove it from the pan. As my pan is a non-stick one, I'm not using a, a knife, but. I would use a spatula to remove it from the corners. We don't want it to break, so we will leave it like 10 minutes to cool down a little bit. Okay. So, now we are back. We are ready to turn. Look how we are going to do. So here you have it. You, you place the dish upside down over this, and then you can turn it. One, two, three, okay. You see? That's the way you do it perfect. You can decorate with some vegetables. It looks so nice. It smells so well and delicious at the same time. I will cut a slice for you to see, okay? We will slice this. I feel it is still too hot, but we can try, okay? So it will be like that. You see? It's good, no? Bon appetit!